Alright, uh, Legend of Total War here with uh, a new campaign. Okay, so uh, basically this is just going to be a regular Let's Play. I'm using a different mic this time, so um, it's just a, just a stupid headset one. Uh, so it's not quite as good quality as the one you might be used to, but it's not as bad as the one that I first started using. So uh, it's sort of in between there if you're noticing. I've also, uh, if you could tell, it's just the main screen here for Rome Total War, because I haven't done a... Uh, Rome Total War campaign yet. I've got one tiny little video of a battle I played ages ago, but that's really nothing. Uh, so this is just going to be a regular Let's Play campaign. Uh, I've turned off the, the background um, video because for some reason it just screws up on my computer. I don't fucking know why. It just, it just doesn't work. Uh, it cuts it off, so I just disabled it. Um, so I'm just going to be doing the Imperial Campaign. This is a fresh installation of the game because I just wanted no modifications apart from of course the preferences. I've, uh, the only thing I've changed is of course the intro, that this, the video that plays in the background and I want unlimited units on the board at any one time. Okay? I don't want the AI for example not to be able to uh, reinforce them just because they've got too many on my video card. Can't hold on to it. So, um, <coughs> but uh, that's fine. So yeah, I will be playing on, of course, very hard difficulty, managing all settlements, yeah, no battle time limit. Um, what I'll be doing is basically uh, just playing a regular campaign, but with a couple of restrictions, okay? So what I'm going to do is basically try and rebuild, or, or I should say, build the Roman Empire at its zenith, so at its best. So I'm not going to take any regions that the Roman Empire never really took um, so I'm just going to limit myself to, to Spain, France, a little bit of Britain, a um, bit of Africa, Egypt, um, this our area here, Anatolia, Greece, Byzantium, and uh, you know a couple of barbarian er regions. I'm obviously not going to go way up into the north here or far into the east. Those are off limit to me, uh, and I'm just going to try and... Uh, keep this campaign as, as Roman as possible uh, because I think that's what I fell in love with with uh, the Total War series was this particular game. Uh, I, I think it's this game is clunky in comparison to Medieval 2 that's why I kind of prefer Medieval 2 in regards to gameplay but the era of Rome is definitely my favourite. Uh, I just haven't really done any campaigns on it because I'm probably I'm not as good at Rome Total War as I am at Medieval 2 Total War even though it uses the same fucking engine I'm not as good at it um, Medieval 2 is the one that I'm probably would classify myself as the, I'm best at um, so anyway it's just will just be a regular campaign I'm going to limit myself to certain regions I'm not going to build um, not going to get urban cohort, Praetorian cohort, or Praetorian uh, cavalry, um, because they're too overpowered. I'm going to restrict myself to uh, legionary cohort at, at its best, and of course legionary cavalry, uh, and I'm not going to exterminate any regions, okay? So that will probably slow down my expansion, and I'm of course not going to be blitzing, and at the same time, this is just going to be a regular let's play. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, see, look what the stupid video does. I don't know why it's doing that. It must be my video card. It, it's kind of new. I don't know why it's doing that. Alright. Yeah, it's the same every single time. Take Suggester. Alright. Let's have a look. Um, basically, what my number one goal should be is to try and get a huge city because I want uh, legionary cohorts right away. And I don't want to be dealing with Hastati or any of that kind of crap for any more time that's absolutely necessary. But I'm just going to go and take this region because I can. Um, and I'll deal with everything else when I get back out of this. Yeah, if, also if you can't tell, uh, this is obviously not scripted, so I do bumble up my words every so often. All my other videos are completely scripted, so anytime I made a mistake or, or anything like that, I obviously edited it out. I'm not doing it this time, because I want to try and get some videos out faster, because you've prob probably been noticing I'm fucking slow with it recently. I'm get, getting one out every two weeks, just because I don't have any fucking time. Or because I'm at work, and... Uh... You know, I come home and I just don't want to edit a video um, straight away. And on the weekend, I'm usually just asleep. So, 
this is fine. I'll basically because you know I'll play games whenever I bloody well want, and yeah, I'll just dump it straight on the, to the internet and no extra work. So I'll be able to get more videos out this way, and you'll still get the same rage commentary that you used to, just probably not as clear or as great quality or whatever like that. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to need a bit of practice going into this, um, but I'm still the same Legend of Total War and all that other bullshit. Um, Okay, so this is on very hard difficulty, which operates differently from uh, Rome, uh, sorry, Medieval 2. Because in Medieval 2, it's really more about morale. You know, you just you just use them to smash the morale. But these infantry here, these Hastati are probably equal to the peasants I'm going to fight because of the bonuses that they get. In, in Medieval 2, it's not like that. It's more of a morale bonus, but I'm always good at fucking smashing their morale, so um, I always use, man, know how to use fear as a weapon, but it's different in this campaign. This is very hard. is actually harder than it is on Medieval 2. So what I'm going to do is try to lure them away from the town square and basically get them to rout. Use my missiles to my advantage to try and lower my casualties because um, the thing that I need to keep aware of is that every man that I lose I need to replenish from a city and that's going to slow down my progress towards getting a huge city so I can get legionary cohort which is you know it's not often vital to my gameplay or anything like that on my campaign I just like legionary cohort more than Hastati I like the way they look and, and, and the way they fight uh, much more than the pre-Marian era type troops, so I'm just going to try and hurry up and get it to make this more interesting. Oh, I've got restricted camera on. I don't like that. Yeah, come on up, you fucking barbarians. And that's another thing about the, uh, the difficulty setting. Um, they get bonuses to their attack and their melee defense, but not to their armor, so archers are still good. And like usual, I just try and use my generals as much as possible because they are replenishing type troops. Oh, bloody... Come on. gonna try not to waste everyone's time with my usual sort of dicking around tactics where I basically don't allow myself to lose a single troop but at the early age of the uh, early stage of the campaign it's kind of vital definitely don't want to lose these archers so come on move it you fuckers Horse sandwich, motherfuckers! Sort of. Oh, it worked. Shit. Uh, maybe it's easier than I remember. Come on, kill the general. Kill the general. Yes! Fuck the gods! This was my fault. Or my doing. Damn it, it's different from reading off a script. Get back here and let's shoot the rest of these fuckers. Yeah, I tend to play these battles in fast forward a lot. Anyway, yeah. Might as well finish off the kills, get some experience. And I didn't even need any of those other troops. Where's the music? Ah. Oh. Alright. Ah, oh, whatever. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Bloody load screens, come on. And like I said, I'm not going to exterminate any regions, but I will enslave them just to increase the population growth of... I haven't decided which city yet I'm going to turn into the huge one. I'm going to focus into turning into the huge one, um, either Aretium or Ariminum. Um, which one has the bigger base rate? So that's 3.5. 
and that's three point. Wait, is that the same? Yeah, they're both at three point five. That's got three population growth. That's got three population growth. So that's got. All right, I'm, I'll focus on Aretium because that'll be faster. Um, so I'll build up Temple of Ceres because that'll be faster. Uh, but also, what I'll do is build peasants and transfer them, migrate them over to Aretium again to make it faster. Um, suggest it's not going to be worth crap for a while. But um, not going to be. I wouldn't say I'm turtling, but I'm not going to be blitzing. That's for sure. Um, because for one thing, blitzing is too fucking hard to do when you're not saving and loading, and it's just not going to make an interesting campaign for this. Uh, it doesn't need that. Um, You're right. uh, I don't know. I don't want. I want to declare war on the Gauls. So, you know, fuck them. Uh, uh, I'm. I don't know if I'm going to need these guys. I'm not going to be using any exploits either. Um, so I'm just going to make do with whatever I've got. Uh, those could be useful. Um, let's have a look. Faction air. Yeah, he'd be good to use to fight. So I just disband them, and of course it increases the population growth, because I need to get that to 24,000 as quickly as possible. Um, I just don't know what to do right now. Uh, send one of them over as garrison, and the rest of these to there. It's not really. Oh, I could get them on the boat, but no, that's not worth anything. All right, I gotta stop mumbling. I'm just thinking out loud. It's it's very different, apart from not reading off a script. Uh, so, yeah, maybe the spy will help as well. Which one should I take, Batavium or Mediolanium? Uh, Mediolanium. Uh, I'll sort that out later. I think that's the end of this turn. Oh wait, I haven't recruited. No, I'm not going to recruit anything from there. Can't from here. Um. All right. How's my finances holding up? Yep. Oh, I'll be all good. Give me money, bitches, or else you not don't deserve it. Uh, yeah, no, fuck off. A u one unit of Triarii. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers, and I could probably just disband it to get something out of it. Uh, oh, I should have gone the other way. Uh, I wonder if I should attack them. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I should have moved him too. Imperator. Forward. No more moves, sir. General. Keep him there in case they attack. Which they might. Chance, great. Open the gates for me next turn. Waiting. Come here and disband. Continue to build peasants. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, it's not very uneventful turn. Rebels in my region, great. Or brigands, whatever. Awaiting your command at once. All right. Yep. End of turn. Losing money. That's okay. I'll sort that out in time. It'll also be good to see the uh, 
the other Roman factions get really strong. Because I'm looking forward to a really good Roman civil war when it gets to that in the late late era of the campaign. Lotto, I hope they really pump up their urban cohorts, because I'm not going to get any. So I'd like to really, really have some bloody fucking battles. Yeah, really, really get that Roman feeling going on of lots of casualties. That's what I'd like to see. Lots of enemy casualties, I mean. Not necessarily mine. Forty percent chance. Imperator. Oh, even if he attacks, then what are they going to do? Sir. Sir. All right. What I'm going to do General. is block off March. this era area. Sorry, this area. So reinforcements don't come from that spot. Ever. Um, but what unit will I leave in there? I'll just use one hus I'll leave one lot of Hastati in there. Eventually I will switch it with something else. Yes. Oh, ambushed. Oh, I didn't, didn't want to do it. What What has he got? It's got sweet fuck all. Um... I could use some more cavalry. Oh, I could have done a draw out. Oh, bunch of disappointments. No friggin... Oh, hang on, let me try something. See if he'll gain a trait. No. Fucking useless. Useless fucking spy. Just just Be die, you shithead. Settlement under siege, sir. 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 Forward. Oops, bit of a slip there. That's fine. Losing population at Ariminum, but Aretium's building up very quickly. Losing money. Orders. Yeah, well, I knew that was going to happen. One to one. Okay, no worries, I can take that on. Let's see. All I need to do is focus on killing their enemy generals. If I could do that, faction heir against my faction heir and faction leader. Alright, I'm up against this guy first, I'll wipe out that army and then this one should be fine. Also, feel free to like, comment about what you want to see in this campaign, because this isn't a challenge, I don't have a set goal of things I want to do. There are things that I'm willing to do to like spice it up a bit. You know, if you want to you want to throw in a challenge or something like that, go ahead. So, something like a Senate mission you want to throw, throw in some um, some suggestions, go ahead. I haven't really taken suggestions on board before, but uh, since I don't really... This isn't a sort of strict uh, challenge campaign like the Blitz campaigns where I had a set goal and nothing could, nothing could modify it. Uh, this isn't like that. This is pretty much anything goes. I'll just play it for a bit and once it gets boring, I'll just quit it. The ferryman will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Alright, so need to get rid of that enemy general. And the best way to do that is horse fucking sandwich his ass. If his men will let me do it, which doesn't look like they're going to. Okay, at which point... Maybe I'll just get my infantry up. Oh, sh shit. I was worried that their general was going to charge straight at my men, but it doesn't look like it. Right, you go 
guys. So. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, come on. Fuck. Oh, I'm doing shit. Oh, what am I doing here? Getting them exhausted is a great way to, to route, but I'm also exhausting my own men, so catch 22 there. Okay, here, this might work. Yeah. Alright, well those guys should be fucked. There we go, that's nice. Shaken, it's good. Double back. Try and get his attention and let some Pele get his kill his fucking ass. Jeez, I hope my general doesn't fucking die. That would really suck. No, 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 no. You're not to flee, you're to fucking die. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where are you? Oh, you fuck! Oh, maybe he'll come back. Good, he did come back. I've still got another army to kill after this as well, so I don't want to exhaust myself. No, 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 come on. Let me kill them. Yes! Suck my dick! It is time to press the attack! What the hell are they doing? I thought they were coming after me. Alright, whatever. Might actually get these guys a bit closer just in case. You can see what they're trying to do. They want to get at my archers or velities. Not going to happen, bitches. Your flanking move was fucking obvious. Alright, yeah, get out of my way. Kick their ass. Oh, shit. the fight, fuckers. Come on. I'm right, gonna get him out of there. If he dies, that doesn't really matter, but I don't want it. Oh, 
come on. Kill the fucking general. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken. Now kill him. Yes. Fuck. Now we can finish off the army. Probably just take the whole city now. Makes a home in our enemy's hearts. Army is in flight. Pursue them. Fantastic. Drive them from the battlefield. All right, now I'll just clean up. I kill 85% of both armies, and they're both destroyed. Anybody left? That'll do. Heroic victory. Yep. To be honest, I probably could have done a better job on that one, though. 21% of my guys dead and 95% of theirs. And both armies are fucked. Really could have gone to shit if I hadn't... I don't know. One. Victory! Victory! Then I'll enslave it. Rome has conquered. And now they want me to take Corallus. Well, that's kind of the Skippy Eyes area there. The sort of Carthage. And they've joined the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boring. I suppose I could take Corallus. I mean, that's another thing I want to try and do in this campaign: is at least obey the the Senate a little bit until it comes down to total war. How long did they give me to do it? Ten turns. All right, so I'll take Patavium and then I'll come back and get Corallus. Yeah, I think that would be the best thing to do. 40% chance. Yeah, that's rubbish. Um, General. How's Eretium doing? Look at that, it's almost there. Actually, no, it is there. Because I don't need you. Excellent. Okay, so on turn, whatever, three or four, uh, going up to uh, Minor City, so making some good progress already. Ariminum is really starting to get small, though. I'll probably need to slow down with the whole building up peasants shit. And these guys will be building peasants as well to send to Aretium. Okay, so who should I leave behind then? Um. General! Move out! This guy will be joining them in that next battle. So, yeah, look at that, been scarred. Not so much you. Eight units. Oh, I wonder if the public order might be a little bit shit if I do that. Yeah. Oh, he's got experience too, so I might send him back to get retrained. And I'll leave the. Uh, I'll leave the. I'll leave. I don't know what I want to leave. I don't want to leave any of them. I want to take them all with me. I'll leave the Velites behind. No, 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 no. I'll leave the um. One lot of Hastati. And send them back. And I'll march on Batavium. 
out of move, sir. Sir! If they if they come out to fight me, yeah, I'll beat them easily. Um Oh Triari and these guys. Yeah, I'll send them. I'll, I'll modify that on the next turn. Noble Master. Um Okay. Alright, things are starting to look a little bit developed. And I might just end the video here. That's about half an hour. I want to try to make these videos about half an hour. So, um... Yeah, look, uh, like and subscribe. And, uh, part two is next. And, uh, let me know what you think of my first, uh, Let's Play. With It's not really a challenge. Um, I've still got a little bit of tweaking to do to get my Let's Play commentary to be, uh, a little bit more in sync towards the the uh, more vicious side that you're probably used to with my usual videos because those are scripted so um, it's, it's a lot easier to be vicious in a script than it is live because most of the time I'm just thinking about what I need to be doing and multitasking many little things at once and although in my mind I'm thinking I just want to fucking kill everything um, I don't necessarily say it so uh, yeah stay tuned part 2 is next and this is just a warm up because Rome 2 is coming up soon, and I fucking can't wait for it.